Hello, so this is another video on implicit differentiation. Um, uh, in particular, we're going to focus on the use of the chain rule. Uh, and so you can see here, we, we've got, well, it's an implicit equation. It's quite messy with, in terms of the relationships of x and y. And uh, we need to differentiate this, and we, or rather we need to use implicit differentiation. Um, and I thought this is a good example for, for uh, 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 as, a, as a brief tutorial in that it's, uh, it will require the use of the chain rule. So if we go ahead, we want to, well, let's just focus on the left-hand side here first, right? We need to use the chain rule. So we're going to, we're going to uh, bring the 4 down as one word. Whoops. Bring the 4 down like that. Um, and I like to differentiate um, in, the, in, in, the, in the brackets first uh, and put that together. So, uh, well, we're differentiating with respect to x. Um, so that's going to be 1 minus... And uh, this is just going to be dy by dx. And then, of course, we're going to multiply all of that with the original. This is just basic chain rule. And, of course, we're raising it now to the power of 3. Uh, and, well, this is just going to be 1. This is going to be dy by dx. And of course, this is constant, that's just going to equal zero if we differentiate it, right? So this is what we end up with uh, by use of the chain rule. Now, it's quite straightforward. If someone, if, if, um, if you're working on implicit differentiation, you should know the chain rule by now. Um, and so by looking at this, you'll say, yeah, okay, that's quite, that's quite standard. Now, the trick uh, when it comes to implicit differentiation using the chain rule is, let's rewrite this a little bit. I'm, I like to, I usually think about uh, the chain rule this way. That's, I don't know, my brain just thinks of it this way, they compute it this way. Uh, but let's just, I'm going to rewrite this. So it's 4 times x minus y cubed. And then we've got all of this stuff here, right? 1 minus dy. So I've just, I've just re uh, re reordered the left-hand side. And I'll just rewrite the right-hand side. Just to make the points more clear. So what we want to do is we basically want to take all of this stuff here, what I'm highlighting in purple, you're going to use the distributive property right across all the stuff in the parentheses here. Um, and that might not be immediately intuitive. Um, you might think, okay, maybe we divide, uh, try to get somehow get this what's in the brackets here with this dy by dx term over on the right because we want to collect the terms if you as you know uh, in implicit differentiation we want to kind of collect them and but no what what it turns out and, and so the chain rule part is actually this second line is the easiest part this basic chain rule say okay it's simple the trick here is on the third line you want to use the distributive property and so what, what happens well we've got this purple right the four times x minus y cubed uh, uh, we're going to multiply all this by 1. So what do we end up with? i just change color again. Um, well, we're just going to end up with 4x minus y cubed, right? So we're just multiplying it by 1. Now what's about this business when we, when we multiply it by dy by dx? And it's also negative. Keep that in mind. So it's going to be minus. Now, and I'll use square brackets. 4 uh, times x minus y cubed, and all of that's going to be multiplied by dy by dx, plus, or uh, equals uh, 1 plus uh, dy by dx. My computer's lagging a little bit, I've got a lot of uh, software running, um, but, uh, so, it's not the easiest to write, <coughs> but in any case, now you can see, uh, uh, perhaps the logic as to why we can do that, because now we can just simply add all of this business in the square brackets to both sides, we collect our dy by dx terms and, and we're essentially, uh, that's the complicated part, this is all very simple now, right, so let's just uh, subtract one from both sides, we'll, we'll add all of this stuff in the square brackets to both sides, and what we end up with then is we're going to get uh, 4 uh, times x minus y cubed plus uh, 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 minus 1, um, equals, and I'll just rewrite all of this, um, uh, it's going to be 4 times x minus y uh, cubed times dy by dx plus d 
dy by dx. I'm just writing it all out here to make it explicit. I wouldn't usually write all this out. I would just skip it and write the answer. Uh, whoops, sorry about that. And uh, so um, now we can just, of course, we can just factor out this dy by dx. And what do we end up? Well, we end up with 4x. I'll just write it all out again, just so each step is clear. Uh, we factor that out, and so what we get is 4 times x minus y cubed plus 1, right? This is the ones implicit. Box that off by dy by dx. And now, uh, one, if you're, if you're familiar with implicit differentiation, you'll know we just divide all the stuff in the square brackets by both sides because we want to make dy by dx the subject. That's the whole purpose of implicit differentiation. And thus, we end up with uh, 4 times x minus y cubed minus 1, all of that over uh, this stuff here, 4 times x minus y cubed plus 1. And that is the answer. Um, you could maybe tidy that up a little bit. Um, no, you'll be fine. Uh, uh, yeah, that's fine as it is right there. Um, that, that would be sufficient if you were to leave it just like that. And uh, yeah, so that's implicit differentiation with the with the chain rule and example. Uh, and remember, the the big step here is to use a distributive property.